I can say, I, I want a cabbage. Do you sell to me? Do you sell to individuals? Yeah. Our cabbages, we can sell to everybody. If you want small cabbages, we can uh, reduce our specimens. Okay. They, they cross the root level. So all you right. cannot cross the root level. All right, all right. And you must not press your seedlings. Okay. You can break roots. We handle it with care. With care. When planting, it's a product. We need, we need, we need. We need yes. <laughs> it's a similar to our cabbage. Okay. So the chemical which killed this mm. will, kill, will also kill our cabbage. All right. Hello, guys. Thank you so much for coming back. Welcome to my channel, She Africa. And uh, I'm in the field today. As you can see, I'm in the field where they are cabbages. So I'm with uh, Mr. Verendi and I'm with Chitima today. So guys, help me to greet these special people, a man and a woman in farming. So Mr. Verendi, how are you? I'm fine. Okay. And how, how are you, Chitima? Fine. Oh, that's okay. So uh, we would like to know and our viewers would like to know what are the methods that you are applying? What are the methods that you are using to come up with this yield uh, cabbage? What are you doing as farmers? Okay. Uh -huh. As you can see, our land is already having uh, uh, big cabbages. Yeah, they are so big. So I will start by telling you uh, how would we plant these cabbages. These cabbages, they need uh, land preparation before they come up to this stage. Mm -hmm. So at first, I think I may go with you where we are not yet planted, where we are doing the land preparation. Okay. Yes. As you can see, here. This is the land. It's not yet planted. Yeah. But we are doing land preparation. So the first thing before we plant anything or do anything mm -hmm. is to take soil samples and we are sent to the laboratory so that they can test this soil. Yeah. After testing this soil to the lab, then the people from the lab, they can tell you what type of fertilizer can be required in your land wow. and what uh, type of uh, uh, and the, the, the size if i'm talking of the size and the, the measurement effect mm -hmm. of the, the fertilizer that you may might use but use compound d fertilizer mm -hmm. or uh, um, compound c fertilizer or tobacco brand that you can use it before planting in cabbages. So the first thing after that... Okay, uh, so yes. well, okay can I uh, ask something before you go in further? Yes. Okay, I want to know more about tobacco brand. Are you trying to say uh, you, know, you can use uh, the, the fertilizer that is um, applied on tobacco? You can re uh, recommend it to use it in cabbage yes. farming. Okay. Yes, you can oh, use oh, that all right. fertilizer all right. in cabbages because it's a powerful uh, fertilizer okay. to put uh, in the ground before planting. All right. Yes. Okay. So, uh, those people from the lab, they can tell you, is your soil requiring a lime application in the measurement? Okay. Then after that, you have to calculate your land. How many heads of cabbages are you going to plant in this land? Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. Uh, so our specimen, when uh, doing the walls to plant the cabbages, uh, yeah, like here, it's uh, 75 centimeters uh, from line to another, another line. line. Part. Yes. Okay. And, um, 30 uh, to 45 centimeters from now, the other cabbage to another cabbage. Okay. So that we can do the, the big space if you want our cabbage to be very big. Mm -hmm. If you want small cabbages, we can uh, reduce our space mate. 
All right. From the, another cabbage to another cabbage. All right. That's what we can do. For example, uh, so here we've got Leria. Leria, no one is a good cherry or macombe is at Nita Giantic. Not in me, say, Bombari Majeta. I've read like a Yatsuk Nakana. Is a bomba. Sepa Pacato Marara. Right. And do my sit at Nita Bombari. But Bombay. I refer to Kungi Rufan and Giraha, really soft. All right. Katmaru. All right. Rufan and Giri soft. Yes. So, Dupandariwa Pependi Kat, you can put uh, pet centimeters away from away from the other. Like this. Mm -hmm. Right. After doing this, then we can apply our compound D fertilizer. All right. In the in this uh wall, then maybe you can put cup number thirty or cup number twenty. It depends how rich is your soil. All right. Right. Then after putting fertilizer, what we can do here? We can mix that fertilizer with your soil. Yeah, we can mix it with soil. Okay. You can mix wall by wall with soil. Right. Then after mixing. Then we can plant our cabbage Your crop now. in this wall. All right. But before planting, first we have to apply water in this wall. Mm -hmm. After applying water, then our soil is wet. Then we can we're gonna use a stick or a small hole okay. to dig so that we can put oh, our okay. seedling in. After putting our seedling in. Well, for example, when putting the, the seedling or planting in the wall, mm. uh, the soil must not uh, cross uh, the root level of the plant. The soil. Yeah. For example, some, some people can dip the, 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 the plants down into the soil. Okay. They, they cross the root level. So All you right. cannot cross the root level. All right, all right. And you must not press your seedlings. Okay. You can break roots. Okay. So you have to handle it, to handle it with, care with care when planting. Then you can plant your plants. <laughs> then after planting, as we just finish planting, it depends on the weather. <laughs> if it's cloud or cold, <laughs> there's no need to irrigate immediately. All right. But if it is cold, Oh, it, it is what? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, you have to irrigate immediately after planting until these seeds catch up. All right. Yeah. Then you have to irrigate every day until they catch up. Then right. after they catch up, uh, you have to, to, to do a space of uh, seven, yeah, I can say four to seven days. To come back with the water again for irrigation four to seven days okay so the maximum days is one week All right. for, before for irrigating your, yeah. your crops yeah, again yeah. you can irrigate it today then you can give a space of seven, for seven days. days then you come again and irrigate so the water which required by a cabbage when they are small <laughs> before they get big it's a 10 millimeter uh, to 20 millimeter a day uh, on that specimen of seven days all if right. we get today it's 10 millimeter to 20 millimeter all right that is adequate water can be needed with uh, some cabbages all right then now for now i think we, we talk think about planting we are done with yeah we are done planting and now we can go to we our can... small cabbages so that i can tell you how can we do it? So what are the key factors that contribute to a successful cabbage farming? Yeah, a key fact which I can say to you 
to be successful in cabbage, cabbage farming, farm. yeah. uh, you have to have uh, your inputs such as fertilizer, mm -hmm. chemicals, uh, and labor. All right. You have to have uh, those things. That's the key fact for cabbage farming. Right. And your cabbage must be very, very, very smart. Okay. For those people who buy cabbages, they don't want cabbage spots. And those sn snails. Yeah, snails oh. or uh, some leaves which have been eaten with some paste, uh -huh. they don't like They them. don't like that. Yeah, they don't like them. They like big heads mostly. There okay. are some people who don't like big heads. So when planting, as I told you, that uh, we plant sometimes, we can plant our population with more. Mm -hmm. Our specimen will be very little. All right. Those people, they want some small cabbages. So we can plant what's required by our customers. All right. Yes. Uh, I heard um, some people say informal market uh, requires needs is big heads of cabbages, whereas um, formal market requires small cabbages, uh, small heads of cabbages. Is it true? Come again. Okay. I heard uh, some people were saying uh, the formal market, which we may call maybe supermarkets, yes, they require small heads of cabbages. Whereas if you go to Mbari, the way there is an uh, informal market, people there require big heads of cabbages. Is it true? Yes, it's true. Okay. Sure, it's true. Because those people of Mbari, they sell to the people who can go and sell again. Those who can, the, they do the vendors, All right. they sell to the vendors. The middlemen who came here, and buy these cabbages mm -hmm. and they go to their marketing place and market to those who do the vending. All right. So they need the big cabbages because the big cabbages can attract those who go to consume to buy them. To buy them. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. So let's go back to our um, the preparations. As you can see, this is a one month cabbage mm -hmm. we have here. The one month cabbages. As you can see, there's some gates. Yeah, you can see there are some. This is uh, the gets. problem of um, our seedling company where we take this, we buy this seedling seed, okay. from. They didn't do their seedlings proper way. All right. These seedlings were supposed to be hardened. Okay. But they didn't harden these seedlings. That's the one problem. And the other problem, when these seedlings come to us, mm -hmm. the way they're having a disease uh, called uh, early bright light. All right, they were affected they already. Were affected. All right. So some of them, they died. Okay. So the problem of um, unhardened uh, seedlings mm -hmm. with uh, this hot weather, mm -hmm they will die. All right. That's the problem we have. They will die. Because when it is what an ardent uh, cabbage seedling will wilt. All right. And if it wilts, it will not grow again. Okay. If you plant an ardent seedlings, mm. it requires more, more water. water. All right. You have to water that uh, uh, an ardent seedlings until it catch up, then until you see that it starts to collect the food from the soil. All right. Then you stop irrigating. All then right. Then you can add in them in the land. All right. So, uh, Mr. Verende, that means uh, if you get unhardened seedlings, it means those uh, seedlings will not be able to survive in harsh conditions or like uh, when it is hot, when we have um, hot temperatures, like uh, what uh, what is happening in Zimbabwe, that means your crop will not survive. They will not survive. Uh, I think, I think uh, something like um, 20% of that seedlings, 
20 to 50 percent will die. All right. So that's the disadvantage we have. You were explaining something about uh, the cabbage, the small cabbages we have here. Are we done on that? No. Okay. Yeah. People must know after planting these cabbages, mm. we have to come with uh, some chemical to spray. All right. There's some worms which stay in the soil. Okay. Those worms called cutworms. Mm -hmm. You're going to have a challenge uh, of uh, those cutworms. They will break the roots from under the crop okay. after planting. So after planting, at that very day, mm. you have to spray with the lambda. All right. To kill those worms which stays in the soil. All right. The first application of spraying that can be required after planting. Okay. So, Chitima, we would like to hear from you. What are the um, methods that you are using on pest control in cabbage farming? All right, it's okay. So, I can recruit Chitima. If we were someone who turns out in the own age as a pest control in this farm. Okay, in cabbage farming. So what do you do? Iwe we semunu anu manage a pest control mu cabbage farming. Kuti ma pesticides asa para zambe uzedu. Uye ze kuti ma cutworms anu kata mbe uzedu pasi. Tichinge tajgara. Adzivi rirwe. What methods do you use? Uno shandi sama methods is api. Ma methods api. Aku pima. Mm. Alright. Ah, all right. So let's go uh, back to Mr. Verendi. She is saying you are the one who knows the chemicals uh, to apply on cabbages. Okay. I think at first I've uh, been uh, talking about uh, our first application of uh, chemical, mm -hmm. which we spray, which is lambda mm -hmm. for cutworms. Mm -hmm. And after that, we have uh, another chemical which kills disease or to, to cure the disease from these cabbages. We have uh, fungicides, mm -hmm. uh, chemicals. Those uh, are the chemicals which have something to do with these leaves mm -hmm. to look out. All right. Got less leaves and uh, to cure that we call early bright light. And some diseases mm -hmm. in the grounds. We, we've got a, another disease called nematodes. Mm -hmm. We affect all these cabbages again. All right. So those fungicides, we have to apply them. Okay. It is specimen of seven to fourteen days. All right. Depends on our crop condition. All right. We can move, Mr. Yeah. Perry. It's okay. <coughs> All right, so you do space of seven days, then you come with... Uh, yeah, seven to 14 days. You come back if with our, your spray. our plant is health, mm -hmm. there's no need to... To spray. To spray uh, regularly. All right, so yes. that means you monitor every day that uh, you, your crop... The... Yes. yes, every day in the morning when I wake up, mm. I have to greet these crops. All right. So that means you have a relationship with your crops, right? Yes, yes, yes. I have to greet them. Every morning? Yeah. All right. So Every morning. I heard you were saying um, when you bought cabbages, they were affected already with, the, uh, what did you call it? Early bright light. Yeah, they were affected um, by early bright disease. I would like to know, how did you overcome that as a farmer? Okay, what I will do, I will buy some chemical, mm. fungicide chemical. One of those chemicals, I can say, or a couple of those chemicals, we spray, uh, that is mancozeb, 
Okay. And uh, copper. Oh, mango zebu is, is also applied uh, in cabbages. Yes, yes. mango zebu, mm. copper, and um, copper them. Okay. Those are the chemical we use here to spray for fungi. All right. Diseases, fungal diseases. Yes. All right. Yes. Could you please describe your variety of cabbage and why did you choose this type of variety? Okay. This uh, variety of cabbage is called Pet 301. All right. Yeah, Pet 301. Uh, we like this uh, type of seedling, especially here. Mm. Yeah. This uh, type of cabbage is, they grow very well. All right. They grow very well. And they've got a good head. They okay. can uh, make a good head. It's needed by the marketers. All right. So it, it is very easy to sell it, these cabbages. Because, and if, if, if you can taste it, it's very tasty. It, it has got a sweetness. A sweetness, yes. All yes, right. Yes. It's a good, good cabbages. All right. So cabbages after planting, mm. it will take 90 days okay. to start harvesting. It means it's something like three months. So you need okay. three months to say now is the time for me to harvest yes, the cabbages. So okay. the, the, what cabbages can do, they will not uh, get ready all of them at the same time. All right. Yeah. So from ninety days, I think we'll be starting harvesting. But Some of not all of the all land. of the land. It will be ready on that time. All right. So you 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 keep on irrigating. For them to grow, mm -hmm. and um, by the same time you'll be selling your cabbages and spraying. What you you, you were doing, the specimen of spraying, the mm. specimen of irrigation mm. will be the same. All but right. you'll be harvesting your cabbages and doing your daily job every day. All right. That means until the cabbages finish. So, all right. Some people say you have to to be wise enough to choose good variety of cabbage because if you are not wise enough to choose the good variety of cabbages, uh, you may end up having that variety that splits when uh, they start to build. Maybe after just two weeks, they will split. Is it true or I don't know? Yeah, we had that challenge last time. The variety. I think uh, they sell us the wrong variety. It was mixed with uh, this 3301 and the other variety. That other variety. When it starts to make a head, mm -hmm. it will crack immediately mm -hmm. and uh, it will see a flower. Okay. Yeah, it will come out. So that can cause a loss to a farm. Yeah, that's true. Sure. It's lost. It's that challenge. So when you are, it depends on the place you are. Because this cabbage is something that needs good um, conditions. Yes. Some they need what season. <laughs> so you have to change your variety time by time. Time you by can, time. You have to talk to those who sell seeds or, or those who sell seeds. Okay. Which variety you have to plant by time to time. All right. You will be a successful farmer if you do that. All right. Yes. I can see these uh, cabbages are still small where we are standing right now. Yes. Um, Maybe our viewers would like to know how many plants did you put on this land? Okay, on these big cabbages and these small cabbages, both of them we have um, 20,000 plants. Or oh, 20,000 plants. Including those who did stitch up. Some have died, but the rest of the crop that we planted is green. Okay, so these ones are 20,000. They were 20,000 because I can see you have started harvesting. 
cabbages here. Yes. Okay, they were twenty. They were twenty thousand. Yeah. All right, and those ones are twenty thousand yeah. also. All right. The other thing that we would like to know: Do you use those chemicals, weeding chemicals, to control weeds? Yeah, chemicals are there. It depends on uh, what type of uh, weeds are in your land. All right. For example, the chemical that do, that can be sprayed in the cabbages mm -hmm. are the chemical uh, which cannot kill cabbages, which is, is a selective chemical. All right. There's some broadleaf which will germinate in this land. Mm -hmm. Broadleaf, like that one. Okay, is it yes, type of, of weed? Yeah, I will show you. Okay. This one, it's a broadleaf. Oh, this weed. one. It's a broadleaf. Weed, weed. weed. weed yes. Mm. It's a similar to our cabbage. Okay. So, the chemical which kills this mm. will, kill, will also kill our cabbage. All right. So, the selective chemical we can use uh, to spray in the cabbage it only kill these grasses only. Yes. Okay. Yes, this one we have to. You have to do it manually. Manual. Yes. All right. So that means you use chemicals that kills this, and that one you is. You can use it the manual. Manual way. Manual. Yes. All right. Yes. That's okay. Uh, so I can see what you were explaining is too. This one is is still small, and the other ones are are bigger now. Yeah, the other ones are big, mm. and this one is too small. It's too small. That means it has a challenge mm. on where it is. Okay. That's so For example, <laughs> when we were doing our digging our soil to make it soft, here maybe the soil is hard. All right. So it's... it is struggling to put the roots. The roots in the ground. Right. What is happening is that what are coming here. So that means this cabbage, is, this cabbage is not going to grow very well. Alright. Yes. Alright. So, Mr. Ferent, uh, maybe our viewers would like to know where do you get your customers? Who do you sell your cabbages to? Do you advertise? How do you get customers? Do you sell to anyone? If I come here and I have a dollar, and I, I can say, I, I want a cabbage. Do you sell to me? Do you sell to individuals? Yeah. Our cabbages, we can sell to everybody. Okay. Even individuals, we can sell to them. Even while, if someone comes here, want one cabbages, we can sell. Okay. But the price we sell to individuals is not the price we sell to those who go for marketing. All right. So yeah. that means you have retail price yes. and you have wholesale price. Yes. All yes. right. Uh, maybe you can estimate how much is your one head of cabbage if it's retail price and if it's also price how much is one head of cabbage okay. what we do these cabbages can be sold with the demand okay yes. according to the market, market demand yeah market demand all right yes like this season i heard people are just saying yes yes with this what season yeah yeah it's hard to grow these crops yeah and many people they don't have water that's true. So, as you can see them like this, people are coming. They are they very are coming big. and say want to buy. We don't go to look for them. Okay. But if you plant a good cabbages, mm -hmm. anyone who can just pass by, they will see. They will see. Then they will come and ask, how much is the cabbages? You want them? Mm -hmm. Like now we are blocking some some of other uh, people to come and buy to us because uh, some of them. When these cabbages are flooded, mm. so what we do, those who, can, who support us, we can support them in this hard time. All right. Even those retailers. Mm -hmm. Yes, those who support us in hard time, we can you, support them again. In hard time. In hard time. All right. Like this, 
it's now in demand. Yeah, they are in demand. So we, we can keep this KBG for them. All right. Until they come, then if they say no, it's enough, then mm. we can sell to some, those ones who just want to give the, us their price. All right. Yes. They just, so you are saying you don't advertise, but they advertise themselves. They advertise themselves. All right. That's yes. a good thing, Mr. Verend. We just okay. cut them mm. and they load them in a truck mm. and they just go to the market. To the market. All right. Yes. That's okay. So, um, how do you transport them to the market? You don't transport. You 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 just uh, wait for the customer to come with his or your transport. Or sometimes you do transport the cabbages to the market. What do you do? You see, like this time we are yeah. in right now. Yeah. Uh, cabbages on demand. Mm -hmm. We don't provide transport. Okay. Oh, it's all about demand yeah, and supply. <laughs> the one who need them is the one you can come and collect for himself or yourself and go for marketing. All right. But if they are not on demand, it will be flooded. Uh -huh. When the Just market is flooded, the land, no one will come to buy. Oh, so that's when you are forced to. <laughs> and you put them in a truck, then you go sometimes to Mbare or anyway, then you say, we are selling these cabbages. Oh. Gonna, if you go there, sometimes we tell them we are selling these cabbages at 50 cents per head. All right. And they say, no. It's we expensive. Can, we can give you 25 cents. Oh, they, okay, they put they, their price. Yes, yes. All right. Yes, if they are flooded, that's what happened. So, it's now our time. All right, as yeah. a farmer, maybe I want to start farming. What advice can you give me in terms of uh, seasons, cabbage seasons? At what time do I say, I'm sure this season is good for me as a small farmer to go and um, start uh, cultivating my cabbage so that I will be able to balance the demand, the market, the, 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 the supply and demand of cabbage uh, so that I don't go to the market when the market is flooded. At what time, at what season do I have to plant cabbages? The cabbages have to plant them in the rain season. Okay. Because uh, in the rain season, these cabbages, they will suffer from uh, diseases. There's plenty of diseases in the rain season. Okay. So what they need in the rain season, <laughs> they need uh, spraying for fungicides. Okay. And do uh, you the water drainage from your land? They don't want water to float everywhere. Like in rain season, you cannot control. You see this crop, if you mm. get it today, mm. you have to make it suffer. Or if you Those, irrigate. Uh, 7 to 14 days, we wait without irrigating them. Uh -huh. we want them to suffer, to feel like the water. Okay. You see? Uh -huh. The more you will get them, uh -huh. then the, the roots will go everywhere oh, looking for the food. For the food. Because they were standing for some days with a dry soil. Okay. So for that time, you can give them water, they will grow. So in rain season, mm. there will be water from January, from, from December to March. Mm -hmm. You cannot control your irrigation. So there's a, there will be a, a challenge of uh, growing. They will not grow so easy. We are saying we can sell them uh, after 90 days. Mm -hmm. But in rain season, we might not sell them in that period of time. Okay. The so period will be shortened or the period will be longer? Will, uh, ah, will not shorten. The period will be a little bigger. We can go uh, maybe for four months to have a good head of cabbage. In rain season? Yeah. yeah. It's very expensive. The chemical are expensive because you have to spray them. We're saying we have a space of seven to 14 days to spray them. Mm. But if it is in rain season, you have to spray them regularly. Maybe three days. After three days, mm. after four days, you come with fun sites. Mm. And your chemical will be washed. Okay. With the rain. All right. So we have to, to spray. If you see, there is a, 
a half ray. Mm -hmm. You have to come and protect your crop with some chemicals like pesticides and the uh, fun side. Because right. your chemicals will be washed by the rain. All right. Yes. What were you saying, Mr. Ferent? Uh, I was saying <laughs> about the rain. Mm -hmm. I said the rain will wash our chemicals. Oh, that's where, in, in, during rain season, that's yeah, when you face the challenge. Every day, you might be having rain. Every day, something like for Maybe for weeks. Uh, heavy rain. Yeah, heavy rain. So you have to spray for fungicides and pesticides to protect your cabbages. Okay, maybe yeah. after two days or after three, two, three, yeah, three, three days. days, four days. But yeah. it, it, it's, uh, it will be expensive for a small farm. Yeah, it's expensive. But at the same time, the cabbage will be uh, on yeah, demand they that time. On demand, they pay good money. All right. Sure. Uh, so, so if you if you are a small farmer, if you want to do the work, you can do the work during rain season. You can get money from it, even if it's hard. Sure. You have to make sure that you have good resources or maybe enough resources sure. to make sure that you are able to do your farming. Sure. Um, farming better. Uh, so uh, the other thing that we have now, we want to know, we would like to know what are the challenges that you face as farmers in a cabbage cultivation? Okay. I think the challenges we will face as farmers is the problem of uh, our electricity. Sometimes Power we'll cuts. Using, uh, not shady. Mm. So we cannot control our irrigating period at that time. Yeah. As you can see, this can be some, they are small, some, they are big. Yeah, some, they are small, some, they are big. The other issue is uh, the irrigation problem. Mm -hmm. Because if, by the time we're supposed to give a specimen of seven days, mm -hmm. we're going to for something like 13 days mm -hmm. or 10 days. Without electricity. Without elect uh, not without electricity. Mm -hmm. Our specimen period, mm. you see, if we, we get today mm. in this block, mm. then electricity will go. Okay. It will take something like four hours. All see? right. So that means that block, which is uh, at, the, at end. the end, it loses a period of three, three, hours. three hours. Then in this another block, mm. we have three hours, which means it's now six hours. Mm. In another block, you go another three hours without as we go back to that to the block, other block you can see that it's now suffering or four days so it's now suffering it's from suffering wow yes that's that's, that's a very happening. big it's very bad sure yeah that's yeah, a that's very the other big challenge, challenge. Mm. and the other challenge you see in winter yes this cabbage will grow very well mm -hmm. that the time these cabbages will flood in the market mm -hmm. So the challenge we'll be having, we can sell a good cabbage with, um, a, li with a small little money. amount of yeah, money. Yeah, it's a small amount of money. In that, it will be a good cabbages, but the demand in the market is very low. It is very low. So we can sell. There is them. too much supply in the market, yeah, and yeah, the yeah, demand yeah, is yeah, low. Yeah, yeah. Because many people will be planting it. All right. That's what will happen. Okay. Sure. All right. Uh, and uh, I heard you were saying when we were there, when we were standing there, you were talking about uh, hardening of the crop. How will I know as a farmer this seed is not hardened? How will I know? Okay. An hardened seedlings it will be very soft. Okay. And if it, it, it is what, if you plant it here, yeah. The leaves will fall, we wilt All right. after planting. Okay. Even though you plant them in a wetland, but um, the leaves will just fall down. All right. So, it will, it will die. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Verend, I would like to know, or our viewers would like to know, what type of irrigation do you use? Do you use uh, drip irrigation or what do you use? 
Okay, we use spray ir irrigation. Oh, you use spray irrigation? Yeah, spray irrigation. Some they call it uh, sprinkler, sprinkler irrigation. Sprinkler irrigation. Yes. Oh, that's what you use? Yes. All right. All right, it's okay. So I can see we are moving. I'm right now, I'm moving on the road. And I can see there's another road there. There's another road there. Why do you leave this area, this space with without cabbages? Okay, we leave this space without cabbages. Because this space we can use it when uh, spraying. Sometimes you can use a tractor to spray our cabbages. Okay. So the tractor will move through this road. All right. And we have got uh, the machine which we use to irrigate these cabbages called the rotic machine. All right. It will move using uh, we'll water. Water, all right. Yes. So it will move also move through this road. All right. That's why we have leave this space. Open. All right. Yes. As for me, I will feel like, yeah, I'm losing. Why would I leave this space without anything? Sure, but we leave it for purpose. Yeah, that's true. Sure. That's true. Yeah, I'm sure what um, we would like to know now, we want the advice. There is someone out there, that person wants to start farming. What advice do you give to that person? Uh, do you say farming is good for someone? It pays. Does farming pay a farmer? Yes, farming pays. Okay. If you do it the right way, mm. it will pay you. All right. But if you do shortcuts, mm. it will not pay you. The way you do it mm. is the way it will pay you. First of all, you have to have uh, capital to start. to start. Okay. Then proceed. Okay. If you have capital, then you have to have idea in mm -hmm. farming. Mm -hmm. Learn from others. Go and talk to others how they do it mm -hmm. and start All right. being farmers. You have to have money to pay your labor. Mm -hmm. You know, the one who is working in the land. Mm -hmm. Is the uh, the person who must be happy all the time. All right. If your your worker is happy, then your crop will be happy again. Ah, that's true. So uh, when you are saying do not cut corners, uh, let's give an example of your cabbages. Yes. What do you mean by cutting corners? If we talk about uh, planting cabbages, can you give an example? Okay, example of cutting corner corners in Some cabbage people, farming. Mm. They will plant without compound D fertilizer. Okay. You see? Mm. These cabbages have to do three applications of top dressing mm. A and fertilizer. Okay. You see? Mm. Some people they just put once. Okay. You see? Sometimes this cabbage requires number 30 cup of compound D, mm. then some people can just put cup number five. Okay. So that means you did you didn't put enough fertility in the soil, so it will not grow to the level that you expect Expected. your crop to go. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Sure. It's okay. So that's a good thing. So, uh, Mr. Ferenti, we would like to to see your, your whatever is it a drip? What you were saying that a uh, machine. Eh, we would like to see the root. Yeah. Oh, it's there. Yeah, that no. one. You want that one okay. operating or someone? Ah, uh, even the one that is not operating, or we will move there ourselves yeah. and we we'll just take that one. You see that one there. Oh. Mazai ima paste. Guys, kwa kwa kwa. Those are the uh, paste eggs. They are paste eggs. Okay. Because these ladies, when spraying, mm. they just spray on the cabbage. On the cabbages. You see, mm. if they they pay the they lay the paste the the, the, the the eggs, eggs like this, mm. we require a chemical called uh, belt. All right. We we'll break these eggs. Okay. You see. Oh, they are clever. They are running away from the cabbages. Yeah, yeah. They, where the they spray. Can feel, well, the butterflies mm. are the ones who come and lay these uh, eggs. Okay. They will not come as worms. No. The butterflies will come 
and come and uh, sit on the cabbages <laughs> and lay eggs there. So what? they see the, the cabbage were smelling chemicals. Oh, they prefer That's to why they prefer to lay, lay their on, eggs on the, the this uh, rain metal cage. rain cage stand. Okay. So that when they hatch, they, they come, come down and go start on. to affect the cabbage. Affect the cabbage, yes. All right. on cabbage, yes. Don't, don't kill butterflies. I, I, I love butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is spray irrigation. All right. What we use here. You see these sprinklers are thinning around. Okay, they come this side. Wow. Yeah. I thought uh, they, they are good. Have to go thinning around, around, and around, and around. Okay. This is the spray system we are using. All right. Some for, some one want to do the little overhead visual. Your overhead. Oh, that's overhead. Yeah. Overhead. All right. Yeah. So for, for, for how long do you uh, say, uh, I'm sure this area is, um, we water this area enough so we can move our sprinklers? Yes, After we, how long do you yes, move your sprinklers? We have our rain cage water. Yeah. What we can do, we can put uh, our rain cage at the center of those sprinklers. Uh -huh. Then you can see want to put 20 millimeter of water mm. how many hours are they going to check okay why is the rain gauge i got it there by my house because I, i'm just measuring the rainfall we've done the the sprinkler one yeah, yeah, yeah. all right so if your rain gauge is reaching if you want 10 millimeter mm. You can see how many hours it is taking. All right. Then, uh, if it takes three hours, then you can go. Ju you just go three hours. All right. And then these cabbages, when they start making heads, yes. And that time, we don't allow this land to dry. Okay. When so they are must stay wet. Wet. Okay. For them to make a big head. Okay. Yes. Because on that time they will be feeding too much. They are just like brailers. <laughs> yeah, are, they feed the every day. You can give every them every time, every minute. At, at first, you give them a few food, mm. but as they grow, they more more food. Than, yeah, more food than they will continue. All right, that's what happens with cabbage. Yeah, that's the same. All like right. those, you see, you can do this one. Last time, last week, we we're giving them three hours, mm -hmm. two hours, or four hours. Or four Just to make them survive, but okay. they, they will be counting their days of growing. All right. But by the time they go, their roots they go deeper. Mm -hmm. They will they require keep, more. Those uh, roots they must stay wet. All right. Especially when they start making heads. But it it will not start making the heads if uh, the roots are not getting the enough deep level. Wet. Okay. Which required. All right. First of all, they have to put their roots. They put lateral roots. There's a tap root again. All right. Yes. All right. Yes. Fertilizer application. Uh, after planting, mm. I think you can take something like two weeks. You can see your leaves will start to change. Mm. Will become green in that two weeks. Then you can put your first application of top dressing fertilizer. Then you can do a specimen of two, uh, two weeks, no, one and a half weeks. You can come with another application, one and a half week, another application, until three application is done. All right. What we, why we do those application uh, in that short period of time? Because we must not put the top dressing fat when it starts to make the head. Okay. You'll be having a problem of your cabbages when it uh, make the head, they will crack. Or if you put uh, fertilizer during that time. Yeah, during that time. Okay. So you have to put your applications of uh, uh, top dressing before they start making heads. All right. Yes. All right. That's fine. Yeah. So we are done with um, talking to Mr. Verendi. So our viewers help me to thank Mr. Verendi. Mr. Verendi, 
I would like to thank you uh, for the information that you are giving us. You gave us good information. Okay. And uh, if there is someone out there, he or she is now able to go and start farming his or your own cabbages. Thank you for that. I will appreciate it. All right. So, uh, our viewers, thank you so much for watching our videos. We really appreciate that. And uh, we want to thank you for supporting us. We thank you so much for that. Uh, see you next time. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment below. Today, I want to show you this special lady, special woman, <laughs> special girl. She's the one who holds the camera every time. And she's doing a great job. Could, could you please, Tinashe, uh, say hi to our viewers? Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so this is it. Um, we really want to thank you guys for supporting us. Uh,